Hello, my friend. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the best online client photo gallery that's also free to use um, so that you guys can make online galleries for your clients or for people that you're collaborating with that they can actually use um, built in uh, liking functions. You get notified when those when their those likes are actually uh, sent and are clicked on. Um, it, it makes custom albums for for those purposes and you can share these and you can also make sure when these these galleries are sent that they don't have the ability to download the, the high resolution images so uh, the application or the website that we're going to be using is called pixie set um, so right here on, on on my computer you'll see the home page of pixie set this application is free to use uh, there are some paid versions of this application or website or platform um, I choose and I've been using this this platform now for almost a year and a half and I've only ever used the uh, free version I've never upgraded because I don't have um, enough images on here for it to take up that much space for me to actually upgrade so um, you know make your account on here I'll, I'll kind of scroll down so you can kind of see some of the design templates um, and things of the na that nature um, yeah 24 hours th some some of that stuff but uh, let me log in so I can kind of walk you guys through the actual um, interface here as we kind of get logged in so as soon as you log in make your account with pixie set uh, you're immediately greeted to the collections tab. So the collections tab is where if you hit new collection here, um, you have the ability to name uh, your collection and the uh, date that it was shot uh, for basically archival purposes so that you can organize these by shoot date or month. If you're doing certain seasons, say you're a wedding photographer and hey, uh, you know, I need to go find images for my client from last April. Well, you can do it that way. Um, you can also do tags if you want, totally optional. You can also in the uh, in the advanced settings here have the option to do auto expiration. Um, so for me personally, anytime I send out a gallery, I always set this to one week after the date that I, I actually uh, send them the link, which I'll show you how to do right now, um, for the photo gallery that we're creating. Uh, right here you have the option to do home page visibility. I will show you how that actually relates. This puts it on Pixie Sets their their version of your web page um, if you wanted to you could use this as your portfolio uh, they give you a free domain name and things of that nature and you could use this as your online gallery and portfolio which you can link to your instagram or to your website things of that nature so people can see more of your images that aren't necessarily just showcasing your actual website portfolio um, or just on your instagram totally optional if you want to use that um, I personally use this for the images that I, I want people to see if they lo they search my name on, on Google, they can find my website. So we're gonna hit create right here and this is gonna create our gallery. So um, to add images, you just had hit add photos and then you can drag your photos into this gallery and it uploads them. Uh, for the sake of purposes to avoid it taking a long time, I'm gonna avoid actually uploading any images, um, but that's how you actually, you actually add images here to the uh, the collection that we've created. Um, down here in this tab, you can actually add custom sets. Um, sets are gonna be, if you want to organize photos that you're uploading into separate sub-sub collections. Um, so for example, say you're a wedding photographer, I don't shoot weddings, but say you're a wedding photographer and you're just like, okay, hey, the ceremony, um, these are all the images from the ceremony. Okay, hey, so this is the bridal party. Um, this is uh, the wedding, um, the wedding itself. This is the, uh, the after reception where they're dancing. These are all the ring photos. These are uh, the photos of the gowns. You can make sub uh, sets is what they're called or sub collections in your overall entire gallery um, to organize and to present those images to your clients which they can actually see on the website when you send them to gallery. Um, so we can just be like sub collection and you can hit save and you can basically add photos to the sub collections right here. By default, it just gives you a sub collection or a set that's just called highlights. Um, but you have the free roam of creating as many of these sub collections that you want. Um, so we're, let's head over here into the settings panel. Um, this this website, part of the reason why I like this website, is it has amazing um, uh, customization as far as typography, as far as the way that you lay out images, uh, whether it be horizontal or vertical, you can change the color schemes, um, you can change the thumbnail size, the grid spacing, there's a lot of customization. I would definitely encourage you guys to take a look at this specific section. I'm not gonna go through all of the, the customization just for time sakes purposes, uh, but there's a lot of customization. Um, not only that, there are also, when you uh, kind of go into here, you can um, create a custom 
um, I guess, header image that's going to be showcased as soon as your, your client opens up the gallery. They're going to see this and then they're going to see an open button. You can also customize. There's different th themes, as you can see down here. Um, there's video covers. There's a lot of customization options with this, even though it's free. Um, you only have to upgrade if you want more storage space. If you're if you're archiving photos for you know six twelve months and you're there four or five six eight hundred images and you're shooting weddings. Uh, for me personally, I don't archive that many photos, so I never had a, a reason to upgrade to greater storage space. Um, but you can see a lot of the customization uh, right there. Um, from there, there is. Uh, right here in the uh, this network icon, you'll be able to see whenever your client not only um, downloads or favorites activity, um, you'll see you'll you'll also get an email as soon as your client registers via their email to uh, actually open the gallery, which is huge. You'll be like, okay, my client actually received the images. Oh, I, I can see when they downloaded images. You can see every single image they downloaded. Uh, the image names uh, are all there. And you can see that stuff. And you also get that sent directly to your email as soon as that, all that stuff happens. But in here, you can see the activity. And you'll be like, oh, this person downloaded this image on this date. Um, down here, you have a preview, which is gonna open up the actual gallery. So I'm gonna go back to the homepage just so I can show you what the gallery looks like uh, once you open it. So let's uh, take a look at, it uh, doesn't really matter, we can take a look at this one right here and uh, just open it up, right? So this is a photo shoot that I did back in January of 2019, so earlier this year. Uh, these are the images. Once you hit preview right there, it goes into this. Um, I didn't scale this because it's not important that I scale this image, but if you scroll down, this is what the gallery looks like. There's a little download button right here, which allows your client to download the image. Um, up here, this download button downloads the entire gallery. Um, right over here, you can see the actual name of the collection, and then there would be sub collections in here if I made sub collections. But this is kind of how it displays um, on the computer the images. You can see the gallery. This is totally customizable based on how big you want the images and how small you want them. This is just kind of what it looks like as a default template. I use the same default template, but there's a lot of customization, and then just a back to top button. So uh, let's kind of go back over here, and um, we're going to go back to the main page. Um, so you can see here, I have a couple of galleries just from things I've shot over last year that I still have on, on this platform. Um, so this website does also have a Lightroom plugin, which you could actually install in the Lightroom. And then based on how you do collections in Lightroom, it automatically uploads them to a uh, associated collection um, in Pixie Set by default. I personally don't use that. Um, so I don't really have a lot of experience with using this specific feature because I've never used it personally, um, but it does exist. I'm not sure if this is paid for, or this is part of the free version, but just don't know that this is possible, that if you wanted to d directly upload images and collections from Lightroom, you can actually do it through Pixie Set as well. Um, so we're gonna go over to, uh, like I said, this, this, this um, platform also gives you a, basically a free website. Um, it's just gonna be your, your brand account dot pixieset.com uh, so you can change that that's completely customizable you can change that to whatever and then I will show you guys an example of what it actually looks like when someone's searching um, your account and, and they want to see your portfolio images or whatever um, same kind of thing but this is the full this is now the full page right so um, they still have the ability here when they go and they search your your you know Devon Linux photography pixie set whatever to download and to share and to like images um, these are just some of the images I took um, summer of last year, give or take, um, and that's what it looks like. So they give you a free gallery. These are password protected. You can change the password if you want. You can leave it unpassword protected, totally customizable on that side. Um, and then it, you also have the ability to link directly to your Instagram page from your Pixie Set homepage, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, so just here's some of my work, whatever. Uh, you guys can go on my Instagram, check that stuff out if you'd like to. Um, but that right there, I mean, just that's that's full customization that this website offers for literally free. It is huge. Um, when I figured out that this was available and I saw someone doing a video on this themselves, I was like blown away. This is literally free. Um, they do limit you on how many images based on stored space, yes. Um, but as long as you stay below that storage space, you can have you can have this platform literally to have this kind of ability to just send an email to your client, letting them know, hey, this collection's available, and they can download it right from there. You don't have to do anything. Uh, it's super, super easy. Uh, let me actually show you how that kind of looks as well. Uh, let me open up, like, whatever. Let's open up this one, right? So if you want to actually email this to a client, obviously you can go over here. We can see what the images look like. Just some, some hand stuff, right? some product related things. So we're gonna go over, not to view, my bad guys, uh, hit share. 
and then you can type in your your client's email right here uh, it could be multiple clients you just use a little little colon that says right there and you can send this to 10 15 20 client clients you can add a message that you want um, or a template and you can literally send them this is literally what the email looks like and they hit view photos right here and boom it goes right to your page and you can just send them full galleries that way it's literally amazing um, I've been using like I said I've been using only this platform now for a year and a half I've never used anything else this has just been absolutely awesome definitely one of the best free things that I found personally I, I did a little bit of research and digging to see what else was available um, but I didn't really like what what was available relative to the amount of customization Pixie set actually offers um, it's an incredible platform they also do have the ability for you to have your own built-in store which you can sell prints and and frames and all that kind of stuff you can do further research research on that I personally do not use that feature so um, I don't have anything to sell quite yet so working on that and they also have a mobile gallery app as well which is um, they can just kind of be sent a link and it kind of goes through the the pixie set application and um, they have a custom gallery right there on their smartphone um, it's huge man this is it's absolutely incredible I can't encourage you guys or recommend this application more than that it is it is fantastic man I've been using this over over a year and a half now and it's been it's been incredible uh, the archive system the sorting the customization the text and the fonts and the ability to send your clients um, and upload these the galleries just right then and there it's, just, it's amazing so definitely check it out if you're in the market for looking for um, client management or photo gallery man management tools to uh, you know upload images for your clients um, it's absolutely incredible but that's going to kind of wrap up today's video guys um, as with every single video that we do you know hit that subscribe button guys and then you know mouse over here hit that like button as well um, more great content coming soon as with every single video um, please absolutely if you have any comments questions concerns feedback for us on how we can improve leave that stuff in the comments comment box below um, reach out to us on Instagram or through any other social media that we have shoot us a message we'll uh, we'll we'll get back to your questions we look at every single question that we get and if you have any specific requests if we have the skill set to do it we'll absolutely uh, knock that one out in a future video but until next time my friends peace out